Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates and thank you for choosing to join me again today as we read from God's Word. We should always take time each day to hear what the Lord has to say to us. Enjoying the little breaks I have in between each book of the Bible, I still spend time studying God's Word. So I hope you will find a way to do the same during the next break I take in a couple of weeks' time. It's Deuteronomy chapter 21 today. Let's open God's Word of Prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, they come to my understanding of you. Amen. If someone is found slain, in the land which Yahweh your God gives you to possess, lying in the field, and that is isn't known who has struck him, then your elders and your judges shall come out, and they shall manage to the cities which are around him who is slain. It shall be that the elders of the city which is nearest to the slain man, shall take a hefty herd, which hasn't been worked with, and which has not drawn in the oak. The elders of that city shall bring the heifer down to a valley with running water, which is neither ploughed nor sown, and shall break the heifer's neck there in the valley. The priests, the sons of Levi, shall come near. For them Yahweh your God has chosen to minister to him, and to bless in Yahweh's name, and according to their word shall every controversy and every assault be decided. All the others of that city, who are nearest to the slain man, shall wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken in the valley. They shall answer and say, Our hands have not shed this blood, neither have our eyes seen it. Forgive Yahweh your people Israel, whom you have redeemed, and don't allow innocent blood among your people Israel. The blood shall be forgiven them. So you shall put away the innocent blood from among you, and you shall do that which is right in Yahweh's eyes. When you go out to battle against your enemies, and Yahweh your God delivers them into your hands, and you carry them away captive, the same among the captives a beautiful woman, and you have a desire to her, and desire to take her as your wife, you shall bring her home to your house. She shall shave her head and trim her nails, she shall take the clothing of her captivity off of herself, and shall remain in your house and mourn her father and her mother a full month. After that, you shall go into her, be her husband, and she shall be your wife. It shall be, if you have no delight in her, and you shall let her go where she desires. But you shall not sell her at all for money. You shall not deal with her as a slave, because you are from mother. If a man has two wives, the one beloved, and the other hated, and he give birth to his children, both the beloved and hated, and if the firstborn son is hers who was hated, it shall be in the day that he causes his sons to inherit that which he has, that he may not give the son of the beloved the rights of the firstborn before the son of the hated. Who is the firstborn? We shall acknowledge the firstborn, the son of the hated, by giving him a double portion of all that he has. For he is in the beginning of his strength. The right of the firstborn is his. If a man has a stubborn rebellious son, he will not obey the voice of his father, or the voice of his mother. And though they chastise him, will not listen to them. Then his father and his mother shall take hold of him, and bring him out to the elders of his city, to the gate of his place. He shall tell the elders of his city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. All the men of his city shall stone him to death with stones. So he shall remove the evil from among you. All Israel shall hear and fear. If a man has committed a sin worthy of death, and he is put to death, and you hang him on a tree, his body shall not remain all night on the tree, but you shall surely bury him the same day. For he who is hanged is cursed by God, that you don't defile your land which Yahweh your God gives you for inheritance.